Like the rest of daily life, the real estate market has not been spared from the sweeping effects of sheltering in place. Manuel Sanchez here with your market update. We can all say that life has changed from public schools, private schools, movie theaters, date nights, universities, the list goes on and on. The stay at home order has affected every aspect of daily life and the housing market is no different. The stay at home order was announced by Governor Newsom on March 19th, and this means it has been more than four weeks of virus suppressed demand. Yes, demand is at an ultra low level, but so is the active listing inventory. Looking at the numbers, buyers aren't really writing that many offers and fewer homeowners are placing for sale signs on their front yard. The number of homes placed on the market has dropped by 38% compared to the prior five year average. And the demand dropped by 45% in the past month from 3,138 pending sales to 1,738. These demand levels were last seen amid the Great Recession. Now, while demand may be at Great Recession levels, the inventory is not growing like it did from 2006 to 2008 when it reached nearly 20,000 homes on the market. The entire country has been impacted, yes, yet there are few price ranges that are still functioning. For detached homes under $1 million, it is slightly still in the seller's favor. These detached homes are... Uh, obtaining more offers than any other range and sellers are getting to call most of the shots. The expected market time for these homes ranges between 52 and 82 days. Now for detached homes between a million and 1.2 million, it is currently a balanced market. This means it does not favor sellers or buyers. Now for homes over the 1.2 million mark, it has slowed down considerably, leaning more in the buyer's favor. And everything over 2 million has nearly ground to a halt. Those numbers were for detached homes. Now for attached homes, meaning townhomes and condos, everything under 500,000, it favors the seller with expected market time of 56 days on the market. All of their attached homes over the 750,000 price range is a balanced market and anything over a million dollars is extremely slow right now. That is for townhomes and condos. Warning to buyers out there though, there is very little price movement when it comes to the overall San Diego housing market. So don't expect a deal. Many buyers are expecting for home values to drop 10, 20, or 30% like they did back in the Great Recession. But remember that the expected market time during the Great Recession jumped to nearly 400 days. The current market time in San Diego County right now is 88 days. As for sellers, until the shelter in place order is lifted, expect less buyer activity, uh, showings and offers. If this has added any value to your home buying or home selling decisions, please hit the like button. I really appreciate it. And for more in-depth information on certain neighborhoods in San Diego, please feel free to contact me. I'm the easiest guy to get a hold of. Until then, take care. I'll see you guys in the next one.